Okay, so Junior Roberts here. Uh, we're doing another CSEC physics work example. So let's see what exactly what this question is saying. So this question here says a metal spring with spring constant K is fixed at one end to a ceiling and has an initial length of seven centimeters when no load is attached. A mass of 150 grams is loaded to the spring at its opposite end and the new length is now 12 centimeters. So first thing we're going to do is to see if we can come up with a simple sketch which depicts or illustrates exactly what this question is saying. So here we have a simple sketch, right? So here we have the spring without any load attached and the length of the spring is 7 centimeters. Then as soon as the 150 gram load is added, the new length of the spring is now 12 centimeters. And the first thing that the question wants us to calculate is to calculate the extension of the spring in meters. So we're going to go about doing that right now. So we'll say that the extension of the spring, let's call that E, is equal to L minus L naught, where E is our extension, L is the final length, and L naught is our original length. So we were told that the final length is 12 centimeters, and the initial length, L naught, was 7 centimeters. So we can use that information to help us to find the answer. So we'll say L is 12 centimeters, and L naught, which is the initial length, is 7 centimeters. Now, when we take the difference of 12 and 7, we get 5 centimeters. However, the question asks for the extension in meters, so we need to convert our answer to centimeters. Now we know that 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. So since we're going from centimeters to meters, we're going from a small unit to a large unit, we will need to divide by our conversion factor. So we'll say that our extension then is equal to 5 centimeters divided by 100, which is equal to 0.0. .0 five meters so our extension then is 0 0.05 meters so let's see exactly what, what is the question wants us to find so the question wants us to also find the weight of the load that was added so we know that weight is equal to mass multiplied by the force due to gravity right and for objects on earth this value of g is equal to 10 newtons per kilogram right roughly 10 newtons per kilogram so we can use that then now to find our answer so our mass is was 150 gram over we need to convert our 150 grams to kilograms so 1000 grams is actually equal to 1 kilogram so to find our answer in kilogram we will need to divide this 150 grams by a thousand. When we do that, we will get 0 0.150 kilogram, and that is multiplied by our force due to gravity, which is 10 newtons per kilogram. Now, when we find the product of this, we will get 1.5 newton as our weight. Alright, so can go further then and uh, part C wants us to find the springs constant so let me just shift this down a bit all right so now we can work on finding the springs constant so to do that we're gonna consider the formula for Hooke's law which says that force F is equal to K times X where F is the force applied to the spring, K is the spring's constant of the spring, and X is the extension of the spring. So 
we want to find the spring's constant k so we'll have to transpose this formula so how we do go about tra transposing this formula is that we can simply divide both sides by x so we divide by x here and divide by x when we divide by x this x cancels this x and we're left with k is equal to f divided by x so now we can use this expression here to find our springs constant so we'll say k is equal to f over x let's write in back our formula then we can start to fill in our values now so the force was caused by the load that was attached this load here produced the force that extends the spring so we need to take the force due to this mass which is its weight and earlier we found the weight as 1.5 newton so we're going to use that in our formula right here so we say 1.5 newtons divided by our extension and we found that earlier and we found it as 0.05 meters so we're going to use this in our expression so 0.05 meters and if I were to call on the services of my calculator to help me in finding this answer and I say and I say 1.5 divided by 0.05 I get an answer of 30 and my unit will be Newton per meter All right so that's the springs constant so if we continue uh, the next part in the question wants us to find the mass of the load that would cause the spring to extend to 14 centimeters so we're going to use again our formula for Hooke's law it says f is equal to k x right we know our springs constant right we found that earlier and we know the extension well, well we need to first find the extension so to find the extension the question said that we want to know the load that will cause the spring to extend 14 centimeters so again we can say extension e is equal to l minus l naught where l again is the final length and l naught is the initial length so our final length would be 14 centimeters and the initial length would be 7 centimeters because the spring was originally at 7 centimeters so when we take the difference of this we get 7 centimeters and again we can convert this by dividing by convert this to meters by dividing by 100 and we'll get that the extension is 0 0.07 0.07 meters so that's our extension right and again we know our springs constant so we can use that information to help us to find the answer so we will say that f is equal to uh, k x again k is 30 newton per meter and our extension is 0 0.07 meters so the spring constant we use here is what we calculated up here so when we use our calculator again and we say 30 multiplied by 0 0.07 we get an answer of 2.1 newtons however if we look closely at the question the question wanted us to find the mass of the load and what we just found a while ago was the weight so we need to use our formula which says that weight is equal to mass times gravity and since we're interested in finding the mass we can transpose and we get something looking at the, of the form m which is the mass is equal to the weight divided by gravity and we can simply plug this in plug in our values our weight is this right here so we'll have 2.1 newtons divided by gravity again is 10 newtons per kilogram when we take the quotient of this we'll get 0 0.21 k 
kilograms as your final answer. So, again, this was Junior Roberts with realjuniorroberts.com. If anything in this video was not so clear, please post it in the comments below and I'll do my best to clear up any misconception for you. Like this video and if you think someone else will benefit from it, please consider sharing, hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll be updated whenever I post new videos like this. Thank you for watching.